They'll be calling you a radical. I want to discuss solutions, options, plans, the dynamic of Fukushima, the dynamic of the nuclear thesis, the, what we can do, how we can save our planet, how we can dig in and try. At least this is the quintessential good fight of all of our lifetimes, all of us. This breaks down it all. Everything that we've capitulated, this evil fucking fake fucking Christian, fake capitalistic, fake fucking pseudo oligarch, worship the king, bullshit. This, ta is, this is the end. This is the fucking end. Look, I just got off the phone with a fucking diver. Look, an ex-Navy diver. These, these, look, I'm talking to the Navy. The Navy can do this. They know that they can do it. There is a fight going on right now. Obama needs to step up and act like a fucking man. He needs to be a fucking man and respect his fucking down with it and quit listening to that fucking hair lip fucking piece of shit Dable action rod. That piece of nuclear dog shit. The DOE is the most corrupt, corrupt cabal of fuckers that ever lived. You fuckers want to try to kill me? You, I mean, you killed my father. You're trying to kill me. You're trying to fucking kill You don't give a fuck. It is the Department of Energy, the United Nations. The Department of Energy is more corrupt than the UN. The World Health needs to change their name to the world. Let's murder you, RSA. What a bunch of evil fuckers. Look, this is not just a rant. This is just not hyperbole. This is just not attacks on fucking different fucking angles of fucking the nuclear fucking nightmare. This is reality. Fukushima is fucking wiping out the Pacific Ocean. It feeds a billion people forever. This is, look, leukemia killed my father. It's killing me. I surely don't want my children to go through this. I don't want my, any single human being out there who freaking loves their kids, who loves their grandchildren, and well, every single who's not fighting this, to the, this is the epic story of our time. This is the good fight. Even if you survive, let me tell you, being inside that unit, this fucking war, this battle is so horrific. It is so horrific. It is brutal. I've invited, I've got permission to take people into a bone marrow transplant. People are like, oh, I ain't going. Because that's who you are. You think you're above, you're not above. I don't care how strong you are. I don't care how healthy you are. Look. We need, the Navy is going to break right. This is going to happen sooner or later. There's only one people that can do this, the United States Navy. They can go in there. This is going to have to be a Navy diet, fucking major giant, fucking hundreds of thousands of men fucking operation. That's what it's going to have to be. I'm an environmental economist. Taking apart the nuclear industry would be the greatest fucking economic stimulus boost to this economy in fucking the history of mankind. It will take millions of people to fucking take care of this and to fucking get this. Look, it can be done. This China Center, it's obviously melded through. It is fucking melded through. All three have melded completely through. Gamma rays of epic, epic proportions. China Center nuclear fission is on over there. Why have we not seen steam explosions going over there? It's on the fucking edge of the Pacific. The energy, the fucking gamma rays are being dispersed into the Pacific. That's why there's no numbers being raised. The numbers in the Pacific are going to be so jacked when we finally get them, we're going to be scared of the, the more than so much more than the fucking water trench running because the water's running over the top. This thing is burned through. The gamma rays, as your fifth grade science, your seventh grade, the, your eighth grade science, your college, where are the scientists? Where are the scientists in the world? You know, <laughs> you know what freaking these gamma rays are doing. You know what this fission is doing. The energy is being dispersed into the Pacific. I mean, we get Navy di divers down there, we're gonna, they're going to say, oh my God. They're going to have to build columns. They're going to have to pump fresh water in. It's going to have to, you know, can they even get at the fucking core? I don't know. This is going to be, but it has to be done. It's got, it's got to be done. I mean, either that or we just forget Earth. I mean, this is not going away. This is growing and growing and growing. And as far as the nuclear thesis around the country, Hanford, you people in Seattle, what does it matter with you? It's being widely, pro I mean, they're killing you. And for, you know, the DOE, the Department of Energy, is the most corrupt cabal of evil in the history of humanity. This makes the Nazis look like church mice. This makes the freaking, you know, genocide of the American West Indian look like church mice. These, this is so fucking evil. Look, we need it. Let, let's talk about the decommissioning of plants here. Songs, the devil, it doesn't matter if they get fucking decommissioned. It doesn't fucking matter. With that fuel sitting on site, now look, Yucca Mountain's built. By law, Yucca is supposed to be in Yucca Mountain. I mean, everybody to needs to understand this. There are 104 reactors, now 102 actives. We were actively, I worked hard, so many of us worked so hard shutting down. It was a big deal. It is a marquee time. It's a, but it doesn't matter if songs get shut down. 
the spent fuel is laying there. Have you ever seen these spent fuel pools? The one in Illinois is off the edge of Lake Michigan. It's five feet above the edge of Lake Michigan. Diablo Canyon, right there. It's the spent fuel. Songs. 40 years of spent fuel laying there when it was never intended to, just laying on shelves in pools. It's naked as it gets. Yucca Mountain was built, the, the National Depository. Now, why is it not there by law? It's supposed to be because Harry Reid, let's remember, Harry Reid, Mormon from here, I know him, I know his family, I think he's a pretty decent guy, but he grew up right there, Satellite, Nevada, that's where he grew up. I mean, it was basically a bunch of trailers of old brothels is all it was. That's where the Yucca Mountain's at. He, they don't want it down there now after we spent $16 billion building it. They don't want it. You know, Las Vegas grew up. We know it was one of the boom towns of the freaking, you know, dot-com bubble, housing bubble, hope bubble. It was the freaking, it, it incorporated all three, Las Vegas, Nevada. I mean, it went crazy. I mean, I grew up right here. Freak, I, I watched Las Vegas grow up. It went insane. I mean, I think about it. Oh, my. They don't want it. So he places Jacko on head of the NRC to simply block. He's a powerful man. I mean, he's the head of the Senate. He's the second most powerful man in this freaking country. He's placed there to block it. Okay? He he is called the Situation Room. He you know he doesn't want any part of this dog and pony show when he's tired of dummy down Fukushima. I mean, I've listened to the tapes. I've listened to the conversations. They're public domain. The fight that got, went on inside of the United States Navy. Shane Russell's broke it all down. There's a lot of investigative journalists out there who've done it for free, by the way. The free line. We broke it down. We've worked so hard on this. We have the conversations between the Navy. We have them. We have them. They're hard to go through. The, the, you know, the freedom of information, they, they're public domain, but they make it almost impossible. But we have a group of you know, five or six investigators. That's all they do. They've dug through this, and these are intelligent, dynamic people. And they've dug through it, and they've broke it down. You ought to see that. I'll read them one day. I have them. I'll read the conversations and the fight going on inside the U.S. the United States Navy on what was going on over there, and it was a massive fight, you know. And again, the Department of Energy, the fucking nuclear industry, wins out. They win out everything. They run the fucking world. These are human beings. They're no different than you and I. I love it how they people put them up. All these oligarchs, these fucking they, they're you know they they breathe air. They fucking walk and talk. They live in houses. They freaking do. They do. They're human beings. They're no different than you and I that way. Just because they have a whole bunch of money, like in fact, they're probably weaker than we are because they're freaking insecure. That's what the whole money is about. We're. I'm not afraid of those fuckers. I am not afraid of any of those fuckers. Not one of those fucks. They do not fuck. I am not afraid of those fuckers. No fucking way. They should be afraid of me. Is who they should be afraid of. Fuck them. Look. We go in and start to decommission this in the United States. We First off, the Navy goes in, takes us apart. They know as soon as they send the Navy, Axelrod, that piece of dog shit who's Joe Nuclear, Gina McCarthy, fucking Nuclear, Radnet, they're the biggest conspiracy ever forced. I mean, this is Watergate on Balco to the millionth power. You know, raising the limits, fucking Radnet doesn't work. I mean, what a joke. Now she's head of the fucking, she's, you know, the, the new head of the EPA. Ernest, the fucking nuclear, trying to build the plants in there. Dirty Herbie right here. I'm the one who fucking blocked, full with a central line down, sucked down to 125 pounds. I'm the one that fucking blocked fucking New Castle, Blue Castle here by putting up videos and fucking going over there. You know, people were typing in Blue Castle, and they're oh my God. They're trying to build one here on the green. This is how dirty these people are. They don't care. They don't give a fuck. They're self-indulging. They're fake hairspray fucking idealistic bullshit. We, this is folding into contemporary. We need to go in, and I mean, it's going to be a gigantic, gigantic project. Can it be done? I don't know. But the Navy, I'm sure, my guess is the Navy has secret dive teams over there fucking now. I'm sure they do. I, I would hope, I would hope, but my guess is they do. I'm sure there's fucking Navy subs that have been fucking plotting this, and I'm sure there, I know there's a fight going in the Navy, and I know they're like, fuck it, we gotta step in, but you got Axel Rod and these fuckers running the show in the nuclear industry, they know as soon as that steps in, the, the nuclear industry's over. They're over. They need to be fucking over. The dirtiest, filthiest, mass murdering machine in the history of humanity. So we start to commission these plants. It takes millions and millions of people. And here's another thing. The money is set aside for all 104. It's laying there. Billions and billions, hundreds of billions of dollars is sitting there by law. That's the only thing we did get right. The money's there. So we fucking have a national fucking WPA CCC on Balco to fucking 
decommission the nuke, take the nuclear industry a fucking part. We don't even need it. It's such a scam. It's just, oh, we'll have a... Well, no, no, that's the thing that's been shoved down your throat. We're producing something like 60% more fucking energy than we use in this country today. It's a scam. People really did step in and fucking lower their th footprint. There was a lot of Americans participating in that, and it really did work. It's like people eating organic. It's working. I mean, people don't think it's working. It is working. It is working. There are so many people across this country, they want to fight, and they want, and they do do things. You know, they're putting in lower light bulbs, they're fucking switching over their air conditioners to lower, they're putting fucking solar panels up all over. So many are doing it. It's working. It's working. We don't need these fucking things. This would create millions of fucking jobs. I was involved with the fucking Germany decommission process. The IA said it would cost us $2 billion per plant. I was like, it'll cost $200 million per plant. That's about what it's cost. It's been a huge economic windfall to Germany by decommissioning those things. Switzerland's going to do it. We need to clean this fucking nightmare up. It's going to take years and years and years and years. It's going to happen. Now, maybe not in our lifetime after this kills us all, but generations in the fucking future. But we could do this right fucking now. Now, I voted for Obama. Do I wish I wouldn't have? Yeah, I wish I wouldn't have now. Now, but what's the alternative? The Republican, if the Republicans had office, Dick Cheney, who sits his airplane, I'm up there all the time right there in Jackson. He kidnapped Jackson. He would fly his plane right over there. They would tap old Faithful and bring the fucking heat into his house if there was three cents for Halliburton to be fucking made. We can do this. It's time for the Navy to fucking step in. We can decondition these fucking spent fuel rods are sitting on site all over an under four. And they're precarious. They're dangerous. And look, it doesn't take a tsunami. They're sitting in concrete, this fucking core. They fracture. That is madness in there. It is total 100% fucking madness. Einstein's words. The most fucking ridiculous evil way to boil fucking water. When those cores crack on a shake, entombment, it doesn't take a tsunami, it doesn't anything, the core, it comes out, it doesn't go through the circulation process, so the core is released pure into the atmosphere. Diablo Canyon songs, it doesn't matter if they're shut down, the fucking spent fuel's got to go. Do we need to shoot it into space? Yeah, I, I'm with, uh, okay, Allison, you say shoot into space, forget you, okay, let's do one of the two, but they gotta go. They gotta go. Now, I think it's ironic. Shooting in space, Harry Reid used to work right here in 86 at Thakal, who built the booster rocket for the Challenger, and we know what happened there. So, but there are no good answers. We created this catastrophe, just like mustard gas and nerve gas. I mean, I equate this exactly to mustard and nerve gas. You know, we've put it out there. We're, we're, we've been decommissioning right here, right here in my backyard is where we decommission the nerve gas and the mustard gas. It's going to take fucking a long, long time, but we've been working on it for a long, long time. And they're doing it. You know, this is a fucking national project, a worldwide project, and it's going to have to take the United States Navy to fucking do it. And they're going to step in. Why not do it now? Why wait till fuck we get down to the fucking road? Because let me tell you, the nuclear fucks. You're walking us down a fucking dead end, and you know you're walking us down a dead end. Your gig is over. It is fucking over. Stay on tuned.